Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor HP Service Manager with HP Operations for Windows. First step in doing so is to obtain the Smart plugin for HP Service Manager. That can be obtained at the following address www.libbard.com. After going to our webpage, click Products, Smart Plugin for HP Service Manager, and Download. Enter your name and email address and click Submit and you will receive an email with the URL to download the latest Smart Plugin software for Service Manager. After you have the zip file from our website, move the files to the OMW server. Either put them on your desktop or um, a local drive or somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. It can even be installed on a network drive. Double click on the installer. Accept the terms and agreement. Any warnings that you receive from Windows, click yes. And that's it. It's been installed. So under tools, you will have all the necessary tools to manage the new spy. Under policies, you will also have all the policies contained in one folder under policy groups. This would be your log monitoring, your message monitoring, your metric monitoring, and your core monitors. This is the second section to installing the Smart Plugin for HP Service Manager. For Service Manager, you have two main configuration files that need to be changed, the SMINI and the SM.CFG. For this example, we're going to use a vertically scaled Service Manager application server running two active listeners, two active engines, and one load balancer. In the manual, it states that you need to add the JVM options. These JVM options could be cut and pasted, just like I have done, into a text file and simply removed into the INI file. Hit save. Now the CFG file is slightly different. You only need to copy the same option over and over again, but you only need to change the port number. The port numbers can be completely arbitrary. Um, it's usually up to your security admins or if there's a port range you prefer for this kind of thing, just pick one. At this point, the Service Manager Spy uh, is completely indifferent to these port settings. So I'm just going to cut and paste and chain, go up by each one, a number of one, so we're going to be up to six, <clears throat> seven, that one's not active, so we're not going to do that one. Uh, so we have just double check, make sure you have no ports that are the same. So we're going to use port range 9004 through 9008. Hit save. At this point, you will have to restart Service Manager. So in order to do that, go into your services, find services, and just hit restart. This will take a few minutes, um, but usually it takes less than two or three minutes. I like to watch the SM log file, which is located wherever you installed Surface Manager, usually uh, right around there. <clears throat> and this kind of gives you an idea of uh, where it's at with the install. And if you put any typos in these two configura configuration files, the INI and the CFG, it will show up here pretty quickly. If you're doing this on a production server, make sure that you're doing it at a time where there aren't that many users and you've communicated that the server will be down for, I would say, less than two minutes. Again, uh, with vertically scaled installations, the more and service manager engines you have, the longer it takes to restart. 
But in this case, it looks like uh, for what we have, it's going to take just, just a minute. I'm not seeing any errors, so it looks like we configured the SMINI and the SMCFG correctly. Again, just take the installation manual for Service Manager and copy and paste the, the lines we give you. I'll also put the lines that uh, I showed you there in the comments of this YouTube video. Okay, it looks like we're running. Um, again, you might want, if you're dealing with a vertically scaled, horizontally scaled service manager installations, you're probably familiar with this command by now, but just do a report LB status. And it looks like we're good. So the good news, the worst part is over. Then once you configure the INI and the CFG files, the SPI pretty much does the rest. So the last section will be to deploy this SPI to this particular management server. This is the last section of installing the smart plugin for HP Service Manager on HP Operations for Windows. So we have just finished configuring the Surface Manager application server. Um, that server in our OMW system is this one, lib.sm1, for this example. Um, so now that we have the uh, JMX ports configured on the Service Manager application server, we need to deploy instrumentation, select Service Manager, do not remove all existing before deploying new instrumentation unless you're sure you absolutely need to do that. Since this is a new install, you should never have to do that. Hit OK. OK, that should be out by now. I see no uh, red X by the deployment job, so it looks like the distribution worked. To deploy the spy now, you simply grab the top level folder and drop it on the system. You may get this the first time because it executed before the distribution was ready. Um, ignore the first one. Okay, now the SPI has been deployed, um, the distribution is finalized, and you have received the two messages that the discovery has started and the SM SPI has finished discovery. You can open this message up, go into annotations, which is here, and you should have this, which is a listing of all the engines you have configured in here. So we show a load balancer, two engines, and two SC Auto listeners. So it looks like everything is working as it should. And that's it. Uh, Surface Manager is now fully monitored for its internal memory errors, heap and non-heap, up and down status, user load, thread count, and uh, a lot of other metrics. So it's a fairly simple ins installation to get a lot of value um, quickly. If you want to adjust the policies, um, maybe adjust some thresholds and things like that, uh, see the other documentation within the user manual, and that will describe how to do that. But that's it for now. Um, I hope the software is useful for you, and uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks.